I'm Veronica Blades. My formal name on my passport is Ronald Karol Lachowicz, and I come from Poland. I have tattoos on my face, my nose, lines across my forehead, tattoos on my fingers, I've got my eyeballs tattooed, I've got stretch lobes, punched nostrils, a few piercings on my face. I have a tongue split. Then I have scarifications, three lines under each breast. Magnetic implant in my in my finger. Forearm implants. And I believe that's it, pretty much. So it's not that much. When I exactly decided that it would start piercings was when I watched a Disney movie and there was a, a bodyguard with a tongue piercing and I looked at it and I was like, well, it looks cool, you know? And I think I was 16 back then. And I've realized that, hey, that's it, you know? I really like it, I love it. So we did a bridge piercing first and a few piercings on my lips. My first tongue speak experience was with pliers from one side, I was holding them from the, I was holding it from the other one and I was just cutting it. And back then I didn't have access to anesthetic or stitches or anything, so I just had to uh, rip it open, you know, each morning. And that was too much for the society in my hometown, you know. 80% of people who I knew just turned their back on me, you know. You never knew when something could happen in the streets, you know, that somebody could beat you up, spit on you, as it happens before, it's just because they, don't, they didn't look a look of you, you know. And then I realized, you know what, you don't have to be like them, just be yourself. So when I've landed in London, I had a job here already. I'm a body piercer. Everywhere people are so polite. You know, not all the time, obviously, but it was like 99% of people, you know, who I've met, that I was like, wow, over the moon. So I decided to take a step back and just try to put Poland behind and enjoy my life here. People stare at me sometimes. For me, those people are primitive, but I, I did this, um, a gallery on my Facebook profile with people taking pictures of me when they think I don't see it. Sometimes it's so obvious, so I decided that I will take pictures of them and I will post it. And when I approach people, they always deny, even if I can see reflection of their phone. When they, when they tell me, what would I take a picture of you? I was like, well, maybe just to show your girlfriend how she should look. So if it comes to my body modifications, you know, why am I getting it? The answer is simple, because it looks amazing. I find it beautiful, you know. My ears, they symbolize patience, because obviously when, you have to, when you're stretching them that big and they don't snap, it means you're patient. And certain tribes, or how attractive you are, size of your ears. So I'm very attractive, at least, at least looking at it from that angle. Mark it, then we'll pierce it, put the jewelry in. So one of my favorite body modifications are my eyeballs. Uh, they're tattooed black, and I'm very proud because I did it myself. Well, it was very brave or very stupid, you know, you can, the, the line is very fine here, so it's up to you if you want to judge it, if you want to. First, I was training myself, like mentally, I was preparing it, I was imagining that I'm doing it just to keep the stress down. Then I was poking my eye with a needle, checking how it will work, will it be painful? You know, then finally I injected and it spreaded, you know, and the entire eye was black and I was like, wow, that looks amazing. And I did one, but at the time, I waited a month to see how it goes, but I hated the asymmetrical look. And then I injected the other one and yeah. Me as a body modification enthusiast and me as a transsexual, just bear in mind that being a transsexual is a state of mind and being a body modification enthusiast is a taste, you know? And living without body mods, it's bearable. But with transsexuals being like that, in my opinion, as somebody who combines those two words, is way more painful. And trying to put my body on the right track, as Mother Nature made a terrible joke by giving me a few more inches here and there. Life yeah. can be beautiful. Just you don't like something, change it. You know. Yes. In my case, it's just chopping out f up few things. <laughs> chop it, chop it off. <laughs> so you yeah, will see. Just you know, change this one. Yeah. And then a few different bits and pieces. <laughs> <laughs>